And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Starfield, make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the button, and let's get into it. So, that my companion that I usually use to go and fight stuff, yeah, it's a bummer that they died off on the eye, but in a sort of way, kind of glad they're gone because I'm no longer being harassed by the companion of, hey, we need to talk, hey, I would like to speak to you, you know, and that got really old really quick, so in a sort of way, I'm not glad that the character's gone. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really enjoying the gameplay of Starfield. Reminds me of Fallout already. Alright, let's get back into playing some more gameplay of Starfield. We run a number of social programs, from financial aid to food banks. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, we're not. We don't mean to be intrusive. Any information you could provide would be very useful. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a Unity Pilgrim, but since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first House of Enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asked them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. No, Lord. Can't say I'll have what you need. Yep, you got it. Happy to make a deal of Take care. My mother wanted. 
wanted me to be a doctor. A doctor. <laughs> Think about the trade business? Am I right? You won't find a better selection. If you need anything else, you know where to find us. Here, I have... You're welcome. I picked it up on... I'm just pleased I get... Check back with me from... Look, the fact that you risked... Then I'll say it... My only wish is that my... Though I didn't know her well. I really wish I could believe our charter at Constellation has all yet all the while I've been <sighs> had I of course I can damn it we're explorers yet in return the... no I refuse the question is where do we go do we stop exploring stop. Poor... well I I'm sorry I got Good, because I expect well. Hey, I'd be happy to get. I know your type. The free wheel and space ace. Must be nice. I think I got them. Looks like you got some fines to clear up. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you.
A visitor? I have all the company I need. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. Perhaps you should hear us out before you decide to cast judgment. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Anything you could tell us would be tremendously helpful. Yes, I have spoken to your Keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down. But the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Then we are done. Leave me. I used to be an actuary. Now look at me. Contrary to what you might have heard, you see security personnel are good people. And Sergeant Yumi just happens to be an old friend. All unit behaviors are dictated by United Colony Security. Ah, oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? I wonder what the artist was trying to do. Figuratively, of course. Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. 
We have something that could be coordinates. Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? And so you think this word unity describes a similar miracle? The processes of the universe are all in accordance with some greater intent. With all due respect, gravity is no miracle. There are solid scientific foundations for it to exist. Well, I won't keep you any...
ever lived at this. Keep scanning. I'm sure there's something nearby. Deployment protocol activated.
Captain Angel. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. All three captain. We are ready to depart. placed here for some sort of specific purpose rather than as an artistic statement.
Introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You, me, the emissary. I have debated morality for near infinity, and all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The Unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. 
It is where we were reborn. I will admit, I did not think you would get this far. But then most of the settled systems can be quite confusing to me, still. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge, to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye, while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It is how I have entered other worlds, including yours. <laughs> and that is the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples, the anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far, not in all the universes I have seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Bingo! I want a truce. Between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the Unity is the one you want. Mine... ...or the Hunter's. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you.
different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It is hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever is in their way. When all of the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. It is not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that is why it offers the choice. Compassion or... Or is it testing us? You might think the Emissary is on your side, but your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth. Remember that. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. I don't kill for the unity. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit, as soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emerson. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. Sometimes the Emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds... I took it as a sign. They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision. Not someone else's. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the Unity itself doesn't judge.
Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. There are secrets there that you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Just give the word and we'll get away. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.